Good morning. Today is Friday, December 11th. Nice chilly one out here. On today's schedule is just a 40 minute recovery workout. But I know I can't just do that. So I'm out here, the weasel's in bed. So I did a 20 minute warm up, pushed it for a 40 minutes. Not really pushed it, but just kind of uh, did a little bit. And now I'm just continuing on with my workout really figuring out I need to put in some more miles so Monday through Thursday I door dash Grubhub right after I get done workout so like from 8 to 11 or 12 uh, Friday Saturday Sunday are my days off and I think on Friday Saturday and Sundays I'm going to try and do a 10 mile in the morning I think I need to just start putting in some longer work I haven't done I've fact I've only done like 16 uh, workouts over 10 miles this entire year for a training peaks so i definitely need to do a little bit longer it means i'll be out here for about three hours uh today i'm right around 11 minutes a kilometer walking um trying really just in the mornings to walk exclusively and then in the evenings run on my treadmill if possible and then of course throwing in other workouts like right today it's the 11th so it's an odd day so I will be doing a CrossFit workout of the day from the Wood Smart app. And then of course, even days, I do the kettlebell. So when I get home from this, I'll do that. And it's really good to do strength workouts after your main workout because it just increases the burn and it'll help you with your training, especially since I am training in the back of my head, I really want to do some sort of OCR obstacle course race. In fact, I'll be posting a OCR training program. It'll be available through Training Peaks. So I really want to get used to, you know, doing workouts after I'm tired, which I've always done anyways. So that's the plan. You know, still no races. COVID's getting out of control. Just heard news that a guy that I hike with quite a lot is in the hospital in ICU with a ventilator hope him and his wishes him and his family i hope you know he makes it but he's around my age and around my size so it's definitely getting crazy out there next week's race has been canceled who knows when the next races are but that doesn't mean he can't just get out here and train you know because it's all about staying healthy and being boring and not epic and another day is in the books this is saturday not saturday it's friday December 11th, 2020, 639 here in Bakersfield, California. It's hard to keep track of the days with this COVID, but it's Friday. Went out and did 10 miles this morning. It was one of my top 10 performances for 10 miles this year. Of course, I haven't done too many long runs. I remember reading about Kuros, and he said that he never ran more than about 12 kilometers in a workout. So he only did about seven or eight miles, and he just used races as his long workouts. And I definitely kind of follow that. I talked to friends of mine who are out there for doing 20 30 mile runs and i just don't know how they do it myself but uh so anyways you can kind of see my fatigue is 113 my fitness is uh negative two um of course not having any races in any time in the near future means that it's not really too important where those numbers are but i've been feeling good um it was interesting to uh excuse me there <coughs> still got this cough going on so um, yeah, I got the, uh, three hours for the 10 miles and I did a little wood where I was doing, um, uh, bicycling where I was doing five times 800 and then 30 sit-ups. So you do an 800 on the bike and then do 30 sit-ups and back and forth. And uh, I've been using that smart wood generator, which I really like a lot. It's a really great little app. Usually they do that on the odd days, which today was obviously an odd day. So I was on that doing that. And then, um, uh, then this evening I got on the treadmill and did kind of a little bit of a run and I also did a, uh, <clears throat> um, a uh, OCR workout doing some squats and doing some more sit-ups and whatnot so I'm just trying to get in a little bit more overall shape um, seems to be working out pretty good you can see my Strava uh, today I was running in London just 1.4 miles because I was just doing a 23 a 20 minute run with some stride outs at the end walk running you know i call it my og not nothing spectacular there and then there was the uh bike ride in the morning 
and the, uh, of course, the uh, 10 mile this morning. And it's interesting talking about, <clears throat> um, you know, not going crazy on long runs. I retweeted this or reposted on Instagram the other day. It's Camille Heron. Of course, she's not doing desert solstice tomorrow. She's passing on the desert solstice. And um, she was talking about something that I thought was kind of interesting um, about her training. So she was looking back at her log and she noticed, and I'll bring it up here. And she says, I've been looking in my training log from back in 2015 to remember what I was doing leading up to 100K World Championship. Nothing excessive or fancy, just consistent high volume, one or two speed sessions a week, and a long run of 18 to 22 miles. Ran a marathon four weeks out, which is my longest run of the whole block. Here's something, and pretty much what I am too, never done back-to-back -back long runs. And then she says, I think the biggest thing I noticed is three months out before I was in shape, I already had it in my mind. I wanted to break seven hours for the 100K. Having that mental note in my head is what fueled one of my best training blocks. Our minds are very powerful motivators. Yes, they are. While she says she came up short, ran 708, fourth best time ever. She learned a lot. And that was basically her first ultra. I was not aware of that. She fixed her uh, nutrition mistakes and then set a 50 mile world record of 538. So congratulations to her. I remember she, that was a cool race. It's in like um, Holland, Windschotten, and it's like on a 10K loop, and it runs through the streets of, of, your, of that city, and it's a very cool race. wish we had more races that kind of did that type of thing, but for whatever reason here, we just don't have those kind of events. And then, of course, tonight is the uh, eve of the desert solstice. Here, um, I retweeted this from the USA 24-hour team. Uh, it was there twice uh, crewing Stacy. And there was always some really nice sunsets out there. Um, and they said that, um, you know, Zach Bitter, of course, is going to be running. Harvey Lewis, who's always been on American team, along with Oliver LeBlonde. And Harvey, of course, broke the FKT bad water to top him out. Whitney had been around for 30-plus years, where Marshall Ora could own that. Uh, Jake Jackson is going to be running. Bob Hearn is now 55, so I'm sure he's going to be going for records. Marissa Lysak's running. She broke the 48-hour record at three days of the fair. And Whitney Richmond is always up to speed at these events as well. Um, so that should be pretty cool to watch. I was, uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of the Fitbits. And I noticed this the other day. <clears throat> I noticed that my uh, sleeping, my resting pulse average is like 51, 50 or so. And I noticed the other day I was actually at night, my pulse was at 40. And then if you look at the past few days, it's been 42. Be nice to get it. It'd be cool to get it under 40 again. So 44, 42, 42, 42, 42. But I was in the 40s for a week or so. But I have been kind of up in my training. So that's kind of the effects of doing that type of thing. On one last note, I want to go back here to Instagram. Uh, hopefully this isn't too annoying when I do this kind of stuff. But I just want to show some stuff. Uh, this was kind of neat. Um, <clears throat> we had another record-setting performance by Texas Jenna, broke Kathy Tochi's high school 5K record of 1537 and Molly Heldel's under 20 record of 1536. She ran 1534 at a 5K at the Five and Dime Athletics Meet in South Carolina. Pretty great performance. And then speaking of high school um, track and field, really glad to see that they hopefully are going to be putting on this race, the West Coast Relays. It's the 93rd annual. Pretty amazing. And I've uh, been there many years. It's up at Buchanan on their multi-million dollar track. Super fast. April 30th, 2021 is when they're hoping to have the meet. I really hope they do have it. Last year, I actually sponsored. I was one of the sponsors on the, the 3,200 races. Always some fast times. It's interesting when I was coaching at Bakersfield High to motivate our team, which had won seven state titles back in the day and used to win all the county and valley titles a lot in track and field. We took our kids up into this room. Uh, as a treat before our big one of our big meets and it was just this room full of trophies and medals from back in the day because Bakersfield High has been around for over 100 years and you could find West Coast Relays trophies in there and there was one trophy it was a pretty good sized trophy and it was solid silver uh, we didn't tell the kids that but I looked at it and went this is silver it was pretty impressive so that was pretty good so in all a pretty good day this weekend definitely trying to plan on trying to do 10 on friday saturday and sunday mornings just to mix up my training a little bit you know um, unfortunately no races really on the scene but i do have though i don't know how i'm going to do my six days in the home which starts on december 28th and uh six days where you just do as many miles 
on a treadmill or around your neighborhood. Uh, my friend Scott from Canada is going to be in it. We've got about 24 people signed up, so hopefully people will do it. I have no idea how many miles I'm going to do. I guess at least 100, 200 would be cool, but my motivation hasn't been what it's been all that great lately. So as I always say, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.